Hello, fellow planters. I want to show you something really interesting. This is up in Greensboro, North Carolina. We're in the upper reaches of Zone 7. And behind me over here is a Lakwa tree that years ago my late uncle sent to my dad from Texas. And when you scour the internet, they do not produce fruit in Zone 7. But, you know, we've had some mild winters and they still wouldn't produce fruit or they start to produce, but they never would develop. And the reason being is that even though you may have some rare winters where it doesn't go to the lower 20s or lower, we may have more days that are below freezing than the Lakwa tree typically likes. However, there is actually some fruits on this tree. It is now May, today is May 9, and there are a couple Lakwas that have started to get bigger, so they're not any duds that I've been seeing from the past. So let me show them to you. Okay, so I've climbed up a little bit on the railing so I can try to show you guys the two Lakwas that I'm seeing. So now right over here, um, right there in the middle, is one, you can see how it's growing bigger. And when you look over here, uh, let's see, there's a branch in the way, but um, right there, if you notice, um, let's see if I can get my finger in the frame, right here, there is another one. So let me put a 2x multiplier and see if we can see it any clearer. So here is a close-up of one of them. And let's see, behind this branch over here. Let's see if I can find it. Ah, there it is. So now you can see a second one right there in the middle of the frame, hidden behind another branch. So that is so remarkable. So yes, you can actually have viable Lockwoods growing outside in Zone 7. At least now I know that this is a variety of Lockwood that does not need to have two trees to produce fruit. Anyway, I hope you found this video interesting and enjoyed it. Thanks for watching and happy planting!